Welcome. This video is a demo of the long tail cast on. It's an easy and quite basic way to cast on. It's a little more complicated and it looks complicated when you start, but it's very easy to master it. And um, as usual, muscle memory will kick in and you will not even think about it anymore. So um, it makes a pretty edge, uh, pretty even and very stable, which is a good thing because we've seen that in some of the easiest one, it's not that um, even and it's sometimes a little not stable. So to get started, as the name indicates, uh, it's a long tail. Long tail means that the loose end of the yarn will be a little long. The ratio that you need to use for that is pretty much three times the size of your work. So let's say your work is about this size. You need to make a tail, which is about three times this one. So one, two, and three. That's how you do it. If you take it too long, it doesn't matter. You're just wasting a little bit of yarn and, um, and it can be a little bit in your way of the project and become uh, annoying. On the other hand, however, if you take it too short, then you're going to have a problem because you cannot finish to cast on and you will have essentially to start over. So to get started, what you need to do then is you're going to put the yarn on the right side of your um, project. Then you're going to take one needle, you just need one for now, and you are going to create a diamond shape with the yarn. So you take in your left hand here, the two strings, the one that is loose and the one that is attached to the ball of yarn. And you're going to insert your index finger and thumb finger here to create this diamond shape. Once you have this diamond shape, I recommend to have like your index finger on the right side to like hold this yarn here so it doesn't slip away as you cast on. So take it here and then what you're going to do with this diamond shape, okay, the fingers are inside and you're essentially like opening up to make this diamond shape. What you're going to do next is you're going to twist your wrist away from you, the thumb away from you, this way, okay? So you twist here. And then your right needle is going to grab front to back the string in front of you on your thumb, this way. You don't let go yet, okay? You grab it here and you create a loop. Then you go back in position with your wrist and you're going to grab this string of yarn here on the front of your index and you're going to take it inside the loop that you have created this way and then you let go of your thumb and you tighten you tighten here on your needle and you go back in position right index on the stitches left hand all the yarn fingers inside to make the diamond shape you twist the wrist you put your needle front to back in the front string the front here you go back in position with your wrist and you grab this string of yarn inside the loop you're going through the loop you have created with the yarn and you tighten don't tighten too much because then when you knit on the row one remember casting on is the row zero then you don't want that it's too difficult to insert the needle when you get to your stitches so you tight it so it's it's nice and um and pretty and even but don't tight too much um otherwise it's too difficult after and back in position okay the yarn is still in your hand you're opening up with your index and your thumb to make the diamond shape. You twist. You grab the front yarn to make the loop. You go back in position and you grab the other yarn inside. We're going to do a few more times. And maybe we're going to go a little faster. Diamond shape. Fingers inside. You twist your hand, your left hand. You grab the yarn to make a loop, 
you go back in position and you bring the yarn inside the loop. Tighten and you're done. And again, diamond shape, twist, make the loop, bring the yarn inside the loop, tighten and let go. Again, diamond shape, twist, grab the yarn to make the loop, grab the yarn inside the loop, let go and tighten. And again, in no time, you will not think about it. It's going to be very natural. Diamond shape, twist, make a loop, bring the yarn inside the loop, let go and tighten. And again, and you do this as many times as your pattern indicates the number of stitches to cast on. And I'm going to show you how it looks and the effect it has. It creates this <coughs> pretty chain here, which looks a little bit like a braid. So it's very stable. And you can see that this side is probably nicer than when you work on it. And that might be your, your front side and then your back side. But both of them are very regular and even, so they are really nice to work with and it's actually pretty easy to master. So when you have your number of stitches, you're done and then you can just move around and you can start your row one this way and you can start your stitches. And this is how you do the long tail cast on. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to reach out, um, add comments. Uh, as usual, we are not competing with other, um, you know, knitters showing videos. If you have a preferred option, feel free to go for them. We just want to give you our um, two cents about how to do certain things. So enjoy your knitting and let's meet again in the next video.